Hi, I'm Stuart Park, Senior Engineer here at Kinetico. Many people wonder about the water softening process, and I'd like to take a moment to show you just how a water softener works. But first, why do we need water softeners? We need them because homes have hard water. This means that the water contains dissolved rock, usually limestone, or it could have dissolved metals in it, like iron. Hey, watch it! Dissolved rock and iron are found in both private wells and municipal supplies. And the municipalities aren't required to take them out. It's in there. This dissolved rock shows up as a crusty white residue, and it clings to everything your water touches. You may have noticed white spots on your glassware and fixtures. It also clings to your skin and hair. And it damages water-using appliances by lowering their efficiency and shortening their life. The iron shows up as orange or brown stains on your fixtures, sinks, bathtubs, and water-using appliances, like this nasty shower head. And it's murder on your pipes. Nasty stuff. Sorry! Water softeners remove dissolved rock and iron by a process called ion exchange through the use of electrostatically sensitive plastic beads called resin. Here you can see a resin bead with an ion of sodium or potassium attached. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Resin. Hi, I'm Mr. Resin. I'm an electrostatic, uh, electrostatic, electrostatic, uh, I'm sensitive. As the dissolved rock ions come into contact with the resin, the rock is captured and an ion of something else, usually sodium or potassium, is released or exchanged. Gotcha, you dirty rock. This process, called ion exchange, leaves the water soft and clean. After all the resin beads are saturated with dissolved rock, they are regenerated or washed with a brine solution. The beads grab the sodium or potassium ions from the brine and release the dissolved rock, which is then washed down the drain. So that's it in a nutshell. The resin in the water softener grabs ions of dissolved rock and iron and loses ions of sodium or potassium. The resin is periodically washed with brine and the hardness minerals get washed down the drain. At the same time, the resin beads are recharged with fresh sodium or potassium ions, allowing the process to begin again. 